Speaker Arroyo and former Speaker Alvarez go a long way back. And you know what they say in politics, there's no permanent friends or enemies, only permanent interests. Let's bring in my partner, Sean Yao, who's on the beat regarding the former Speaker's complex relationships with his frenemies. So, Sean, let's begin with the Alvarez Arroyo saga. Where does this all begin? Okay, this is going to be really, really beaty. Mm -hmm. as, uh, so, where did this begin, right? So, this all began in 2001, 2002. Mm -hmm. Remember, this was President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. The Haiti. Yes. The Haiti. Well, she just ascended to mm -hmm. the presidency after Arab, right? So, a, a lot of people have forgotten that. Speaker Alvarez, or sorry, let's just say Congressman Alvarez, Congressman Alvarez, Alvarez, Congressman yeah. Alvarez of Davao del Norte, he was actually the DOTC Secretary of President Arroyo back then. He was appointed. So, wala nang DOTC ngayon, mm -hmm. now it's DOTR mm -hmm. and DICT. But before, it was the DOTC. This is circa 2001, right? 2001, 2002, okay. right? So, that was his tenure as mm -hmm. a Secretary of President Arroyo back then. Mm -hmm. And, um, of course, fast, fast forward to now, President Arroyo is on her third term as Pampanga Congresswoman. And um, Congressman Alvarez has actually won as Davao del Norte Congressman. Yeah, things changed and then changed again. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So... But then, uh, uh, yeah. see, uh, Senate Speaker, uh, sorry, uh, Speaker Arroyo wasn't just any congresswoman, no? I'm sure uh, uh, former Speaker Alvarez remembered uh, his boss. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Gloria Arroyo, definitely not your ordinary congresswoman. Mm -hmm. So right after she became president, she became congresswoman. And two years ago, she was uh, freed from hospital arrest. Mm -hmm. And uh, right after that, all right, so it was already the Duterte administration. So super fast forward, right? Mm -hmm. uh, actually... Congressman Alvarez did appoint uh, Congresswoman Arroyo as a deputy speaker. This was as recent as mga two years ago now. Yes, 2016 in the 17th Congress, our current Congress. So that ended when uh, she, of course, had to vote uh, against capital punishment because she was the one who abolished it to begin with. And she would look kind of silly if she didn't do anything or if she said yes all of a sudden, right? So she said no and she lost her deputy speaker. So looking back on this complex relationship, this could be uh, the friendship over point. Yeah, so, so friendship over with Speaker Charles, it's uh -huh. uh, there's a, a lot of FOs here. Okay, so, again, so President Arroyo, or former President Arroyo, Congresswoman Arroyo, Speaker Arroyo, she is everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so um, let's look back at that spat with his frenemy, Antonio Florendo Jr., uh -huh, congressman, uh -huh. the other congressman from Davao del uh -huh. Norte. So this guy, one of the one of the backers of uh, the president, I understand. Also one yes. of the financiers of the president. Mm -hmm. So he had a bitter word war with um, with uh, this. Congressman Alvarez, wow, I'm a lot of changes today. I'm like mm -hmm. tripping all over myself mm -hmm. to the point where their respective partners actually also were quarreling all over the newspapers, all over media. So it seems, Sean, that uh, the former speaker did not fear anyone, does not fear anyone. No? Apparently so, because he, after that, a uh, really long, drawn-out uh, word war with uh, Congressman Florendo Fernando. that led into more congressional hearings. Uh, he got into a word war with none other than Inday Sara Duterte. Well, there you go. I guess this is uh, the final straw, so to speak. That's right. So he, Congressman Alvarez, uh, started saying that uh, President Duterte and Sara Duterte are quarreling. He also said that Inday Sara's regional political party, um, and he called it the opposition. Mm -hmm. And boy, Inday Sara got mad. Uh, they were at it on Instagram, on Twitter. And a few months, uh, the, you know, of this word war. Yeah. Very, very public war with the, with the wrong girl, I would suppose. Yes, uh, <laughs> I was quite a very but that brave did, that of did, Congressman Alvarez. That did take a lot of uh, cojones, no? very, very ballsy on the part of uh, Congressman Alvarez. Oh, you want to hear ballsy? Mm -hmm. Ballsy is when he went up against the entire Senate and called them, you know, the slow chamber because the they can't pass chamber. anything. Yeah, this is uh, quite recent. And there you go. But, you know, we do have a new Senate President and Senate President Soto has already said they are ready to work with Speaker Arroyo.